Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is my fitness transformation update week 36. So as you guys know from my uh, previous week, I am taking a two week break. So this is week one of, let's call it the, uh, the diet vacation. Um, so basically, uh, like I said, I haven't done anything uh, this week according to any plan. Um, I enjoyed eating breakfast out uh, at McDonald's. I enjoyed lunch uh, out with my coworkers and ordering whatever I wanted. Um, I did try to keep my calories within reason, so obviously I wasn't tracking, but if I had a big lunch, I had a really small dinner. Um, McDonald's breakfast usually runs me about uh, six to 800 calories. So I think I kept my calories uh, you know, under 3,000 for any given day, for sure. So probably close to like maintenance. Uh, this morning I did weigh myself. I weighed uh, 276. So it's uh, a little heavier than last week, but again, I've been eating carbs all week long, high sodium, high carbohydrate food. Um, I have trained uh, three days this week. I'll probably train today um, with resistance bands. So that's kind of what I've been doing. If you've been following the channel, um, I don't go to a gym. I I had a gym membership for like two years and I went like five times. So I figured I'll spend some money on some gym equipment for the house and just, you know, use it. So at some point I am going to uh, be putting like more of a, a legitimate home gym in the house. Um, let me go ahead and show you where I plan to put that. All right, guys. So one of the things uh, we've decided to do at the house is to uh, take a couple of rooms down here in the basement and turn them into a gym. So check out the rooms. So this is a room that's typically used for uh, our nieces when they're visiting, but other than that, it's just a bunch of toys, rarely ever used. And then this joining room right here is kind of like storage. Um, we need to clean all this out. We're going to knock out all the walls um, between the closets, the wall here, obviously the doors, closets, and all this is going to become gym space. So anyway guys, uh, those two rooms right there are going to make the home gym. Um, for right now, it's just going to be uh, a Peloton bike and uh, a treadmill. I decided to go ahead and buy a treadmill. So uh, that'll be hopefully getting delivered in the next, I don't know, 30 days. Um, I think I'm buying a, a Nordic track. Uh, they have some treadmill that, I don't know, it's pretty cool. So anyway, um, <clears throat> Obviously, I'll make a video on that when it arrives, but that's the future plans for the gym. Um, there's still other things around the house that I need to get done, like build the shed. So filling the gym with gym equipment is probably going to be a, uh, I don't know, a lengthy process. But for the meantime, there'll be a Peloton bike, a treadmill, like my resistance band stuff, maybe like some other simple gym equipment. Eventually, I like to build it into more of a proper gym with the equipment that uh, I've enjoyed using at uh, your commercial gyms. So more to come with that down the road. Okay, so as you can see, I have two rooms. I need to clean them out. That's kind of this weekend's project, this weekend and next weekend. Uh, goal is to have everything out of those rooms um, and then have somebody uh, kind of tear everything out. Uh, reframe it so that it's just one big room there'll be no door entrance it'll just be open entry um, kind of like the two doors are going to just be open so it'll be like a big framed entryway um, and then we'll probably put like some kind of a gym floor down like the uh, rubber mat type thing um, and then hopefully over the next uh, year or so uh, we can start accumulating some uh, actual gym equipment I have uh, kind of some ideas in mind um, I used to go to the gym a lot over the years. And so I have uh, an idea of what exercise uh, equipment would suit me best based on, you know, the things I gravitated towards most at the gym. So I'm gonna try my best to utilize the space that I have to, uh, to put all that equipment in the, the home gym, as well as the addition of the treadmill, which I mentioned. Um, I'm pretty confident I'm going to go with uh, this Nordic Trek uh, treadmill. It goes up to like 40, 40 degree incline and you can also do like a, I think a six or nine degree decline, which is pretty cool. Um, and it allows you to like walk all over the world by way of Google Maps or 
planned trail hikes and whatever. So it seems like it would be a, a lot of fun to change things up. Um, as I've mentioned in prior videos, I need to have a solution for days that I can't get out and walk due to like weather, um, mostly weather, uh, or time. Like if, uh, you know, it gets really late at night. I mean, I don't mind walking in the dark, but it'd be nice to have the option just come in the basement here and uh, go for an hour walk. Um, and uh, like I said, it's just gonna, it's gonna be like a necessity over the winter. I mean, I don't wanna sound like a baby, but I'm not walking through the snow. <laughs> so anyway, um, so that's the plan for the future. Like as far as uh, home gym goes, I've been putting some effort into kind of planning that out this week. Uh, just kind of, mostly been just kind of like decompressing, clearing my mind of everything. Um, I am planning on getting kind of back in the swing of the diet next week. Um, at the very least, I'm going to cut out fast food and eating out. So I'm going to be uh, meal, bringing my own meals to work, and I'm not going to be eating any like McDonald's breakfast in the morning, um, which I love McDonald's breakfast. But it's funny, like this past week, I've had more McDonald's breakfast in this past week than I have in the past, uh, you know, six or seven months or however long this has been going on. So it's kind of funny how that works. But uh, anyway, I. Um, that's all I have for this week. There's really not much else to share. Um, I am enjoying the, taking this time off, and I'm looking forward to um, gearing up to uh, kind of uh, get back into the swing of things. Um, by the time this two-week break is over, I think there'll be 14 weeks left before this journey has uh, consumed a year of my life. So um, the following 14 weeks, I do plan to make some drastic changes to uh, my lifestyle to finish that year strong. Um, and I feel like I'm, I'm helping right now to put myself into a, like a mental mental state of mind where, you know, making some some more changes uh, is going to work for me because uh, pretty hungry for this. So anyway, um, so short term goal is to kind of finish getting things done around the house that I typically don't have time for, and uh, and just continue to kind of uh, hone my plan for uh, the future. Um, the rest of this year, basically, the year of the transformation. I mean, this is going to go beyond a year, but uh, you get the picture. So anyway, I um, don't have much else to go over. Um, like I said, I'm not doing a formal weigh-in and whatever physique update. Um, next week, I probably won't do one either, but I will go over in detail next week uh, what the plan is going to be uh, for the following week, which will be the first week back onto uh, formal diet. So um, look forward to seeing you guys next week. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments section. I try to get back to everybody. Um, if you like the videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Hopefully uh, this kind of stuff helps someone else out there. Um, anyway, that's all I got. Take care, guys.